Any meeting about Afghanistan without the presence of the Islamic Emirate is inconclusive. Mohammed bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifi, Qatar's Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, said in a meeting with Mawli Abdul Kabir, political deputy of the Prime Minister, that Qatar believes that any meeting on Afghanistan without the presence of the Islamic Emirate is worthless. Islamic Emirate welcomes the action of Ireland, Norway, and Spain to recognize Palestine. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs welcomed the decision of Ireland, Norway, and Spain to recognize the Palestinian Authority as a positive step. Trip of the Central Bank Board to Malaysia The Central Bank says that the delegation of this bank has gone to Malaysia at the official invitation of Malaysia to participate in the annual International Conference of the International Islamic Economic and Financial Forum. Qatar is ready to build a 400-bed hospital in Kandahar province. Mohammed bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifi, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Qatar, said in a meeting with Mawli Amir Khan Mutaqi, Minister of Foreign Affairs, that his country plans to build a 400-bed hospital in Kandahar province to provide health services. International Court of Justice instructs Israel to immediately stop the Rafah offensive in Gaza. Judges at the top United Nations Court ordered Israel to halt its offensive in Rafah southern Gaza and withdraw from the enclave in a case brought by South Africa, accusing Israel of genocide and citing an immense risk to the Palestinian population. Over 300 people remain buried behind a landslide in Papua New Guinea. An isolated village in northern Papua New Guinea was completely destroyed by a large landslide that left more than 300 people and 1,100 buildings buried.